So the night, the day you met Jordan, it was at a party. It was at a party. How true is how what percentage of the movie is legit? Oh, ninety percent. Yeah, because I know he had to cut a lot of shit out. Is that correct? I think they did. Yeah, I think because it was even more over the top than what it showed. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you went to the party with your boyfriend or just a date? I went to my party to that party with my boyfriend, and just like the movie shows, like someone exposed themselves to me. And I was totally freaked out. And I said to him, we got to get out of here. These people are nuts. No, I didn't know they were all on Quaaludes at the time because I was 22. I didn't even know what a Quaalude was. And we left. But then I guess Jordan had set his sights on me and decided he wanted to date me. What is that if someone, if you fancy a woman or like someone, you do whatever you can to get? Is it, because... Where is the fucking fine line? You totally talk about love bombing. Yeah. If someone likes to treat a woman good as well, yes. it's surely better than being the opposite. Correct. Obviously, women are, men are manipulators, mass manipulators, but so are women. Both uh-huh. are vulnerable. Yes. I believe men are vulnerable than women. Yeah. That's my own opinion from being a man. I believe men are more sensitive. I believe women are the stronger species. I believe yeah. the, the universe revolves around women. Yeah, but we need masculine energy to build of course. the world. Never fucking bend or break, which is important. But how is that then when someone is love bombing? And it, because it's all sexy, it doesn't matter who you are. If you've got a man with confidence, drives a nice car, has a nice watch, and is as you just sense a presence. Yes, and if he's been bothering you with jewelry, <laughs> flowers, chocolates, oh, yeah. any girl, majority of, and girls might disagree because they've never experienced that. Yes, but if you feel that or see that. Is it, do you, did you just feel automatically attracted and gravitated towards it, even though you knew it was wrong? Oh, I didn't know it was wrong back then. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fantastic. Oh my God, it was amazing. I mean, I totally got swept off my feet. We fell madly, madly in love. And it was glamorous and exciting. I didn't, nobody talked about love bombing all those years ago. So I didn't know that it was... I didn't know that it was more of a manipulative tactic to kind of really make sure I got locked in. I just was like, oh, he loves me so much. And that could have been a piece of it too. But now in retrospect, I I say this very simply, if it feels too good to be true, it probably is. But do you think he knew what he was doing or was that just his character of trying to show off and Pride and ego go into play where you're trying yeah, to Yeah, I think that's who he is. I think that's who he is. I or think that's how he shows love. been a tactic of yeah. knowing, that, knowing that people do fall for that sort yes. of Yes, I think patterns. it's both. I think it's both because he's incredibly bright. I don't know if back then it was such a tactic, but that is who he is. Big, grandiose, in charge, very dominant, very aggressive. Yes. So how did you meet then? Because he was married, you had a boyfriend. How did it all yes. come about? So then what happens is um, he paid, he made, he told a woman who I wasn't even really that great friends with to get me to go out to dinner with her and that he would just show up and he made her $15,000 in the stock market. So he gave her fifteen grand for you to set up the date? <laughs> yes, and I had no idea that I was getting set up on a date. I just showed up like, hello. What was it like walking into that party? What was the... The house, like, and the cars. The house, you know, the house was a big white house on the beach in the Hamptons. It wasn't too crazy back then. It was contemporary, so it was very sparse. Yeah, he had a big white Testarossa, I think, with a special muffler in the uh, driveway. So who was it who pulled the pecker out? Oh, some some broker. To you? Yeah. I, I forgot who it was. Was it Mark Hanna? I forgot exactly who it was, but I was just like, this is really you know as a young girl it makes you feel really uncomfortable you know it really made me feel scared initially so that happened yes that happened and how long did it take for you to see him again after that when you left the party um let's think about this probably six months later so it wasn't a couple of days later no no i mean i would see him around the hamptons um but i would say six months later because i went to chicago to model and then I came back and we worked out at the same gym and he said to me, I'm separated. I have an apartment in the city. Let's go out to dinner. And then we went out to dinner and the rest, as they say, is history. How long did it take for you to fall in love with him? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just as fucked up as him then. <laughs> I was totally enamored with him. Yeah. No, we got engaged six months later and got married six months later and what happened with his wife and stuff 
So he ended up leaving his wife, and that was very, very painful, I'm sure, for her and even for him. Um, yeah, but I guess he was he was he had fallen out of love with her, as he explained it to me. And they didn't have children, so it was a pretty seamless, easy divorce. And we got married. And how were you with him every day back then? Because obviously the movies are traveling, hookers, partying. Was I with him every day initially when we met? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was with him all the time. Is that a red flag? Because men, including myself, I become obsessed as well. Yeah. But I don't know if that's the majority of men. If, if people are honest, we do. But it's like men are controlling naturally, I think, if you're leaders. Naturally, men, okay, yeah. yeah. And I just feel when people meet, like I'm the I'm the same. I just want that person there. I want to spoil them. Like I've probably got all the same fucking traits <laughs> as him. I'll maybe edit that out just in case. But is uh, I've, pro- I've probably got the same traits. Yeah, men, majority of men probably have. Is that standard in a relationship? For, because people say take it easy or whatever. But when you want to be with someone, is it a bad yeah. thing? You want you don't you want to be with them all the time because I... you do suffocate it. We get it, but. What, yeah, how I do think, you balance I think it out? Especially when you're younger, you got a lot of hormones involved and a lot of physical sexual feelings racing through you, you know, so I think it's complex and I I don't think it's healthy to like become obsessed and just be with someone all the time because again, if we go back to my definition, you have to give people space, right? Mm-hmm. But we were infatuated and together all the time and again, I thought this is just what love is. When did the, was he always partying then at the start of the relationship or was it more hidden? It was, it was, there was light partying in the beginning of relationship and then the drug addiction got exacerbated as time went on. And you were 22, how old was he? 28. Still young. Oh yeah. Two young kids. Yeah, we were young kids, exactly. Was he making good money then at the start? Yes, he was. Was he a big spender? Oh my God. (laughs) There's no words for what a big spender he was. And how much an attraction is that for a female, if we're honest? Because sure. women do gravitate towards that luxurious lifestyle. It doesn't matter who you are. The women can moan and complain and say, oh, I wouldn't go for a man with money. But if he's got it, because any man who's got a business or who's on his feet or doing well, that's an attraction automatically. Yes. For me, yes. Like, it's an element of power. Mm-hmm. Men, from my own experience, and like I said, I don't know everybody, but mm-hmm. men, women, men are the leaders and protectors, I believe. Uh huh. And this, and this, women are nurturers and loving and caring. Yes. When you see a man who's got that sense of power, that money is, is that a, a turn on for a woman? Oh, for me back then, for, for sure. For anyone? Yeah, for me, I can only speak for myself personally. It, it completely was. Yeah, and also he was self-made, right? So he made all the money himself. He's incredibly bright. I looked at his lavishing everybody with money as, at that time as incredibly generous. And yeah, it was fun. But I didn't realize it was a trap. 